In recent times, mental health disorders have become a pressing public health issue, depression being one of the most common of them. Depression is a common illness worldwide with more than 264 million people. According to WHO, projections indicate that depression may be the second leading cause of life lost after heart disease. At its worst, depression can lead to suicide. Almost one million lives are lost yearly due to suicide, which translates to 3,000 suicide deaths every day. For every person who completes a suicide, 20 may attempt to end his or her life. Recently, a young Nigerian known as Ayodele Bandele was reportedly been found dead hours after he was declared missing on Tuesday, January 12th in Lagos State. Before he was declared missing, he left a disturbing note on his Instagram story where he hinted suicide after opening up on how he battled depression for seven years. This trailed reactions on social media. Depression is real. Anyone can get depressed, even the teenagers. The World Health Organization has it that, globally, depression is one of the leading causes of illness and disabilities among adolescents, and suicide is the third leading cause of death in 15 to 19-year-olds. We spoke to a child and educational psychologist who spoke on the causes of depression among the teenagers. A lot of people believe that depression happens to only adults, but research has proven that teenagers also experience depression. Now, talking about what causes depression in teenagers, there are a whole lot of things that could cause depression um, among teenagers, but it's usually as a result of some kind of exposure to experiencing something different. So for some of them, they might um, experience a failure. Uh, maybe they wrote an examination and they failed. It could cause depression. Sometimes it could be loss of a loved one. Maybe one of the parents um, passed on or even um, a, a situation like a divorce. For some children who have very fragile personality, something like um, a, a sudden change of environment or a sudden change of school, something that is just unpalatable to them can cause depression in teenagers. Here, is a viral video of a mother in Kenya who narrated how she lost her teenage child. And it was a Sunday evening and we had just had supper. And I thought that it was just one of his antics because he was a difficult boy. He became very difficult after he failed his Form 4 exams. And so finally when they, they kept going and coming, going and coming, and I was in my room. When I went outside, I found my son hanging on my on my veranda and the the most wicked 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 sight in my life is to see his tongue hanging almost up till here <laughs> because he had what should be done what are the roles the parents are to play in coping this disturbing issues of depression so the first thing that i would um Say that parents need to do is to realize that this is possible and to wake up from this, um, what I call it, denial that seems to exist in most African families. Um, when parents do these two things, then they become naturally more observant. They begin to look out for the signs in the children. Yes, teenagers have a lot going on for them. They're going through hormonal changes. They're going through um, a lot of physical, psychological changes. And so, yes, they would have mood swings. They'll have high and low days, but it'll come and go. But once it lingers, once it lingers for two weeks, they're about, please, please, and please, we need to talk to um, a specialist. We need to talk to a doctor, first of all, because sometimes... Um, parents do not know how to access um, specialists. So we need to talk to a doctor who will then refer whether to a child psychologist or to a psychiatrist 
or whoever they think is best in that situation. It is reported that the majority of Nigerians lack awareness about mental health, plus non-available mental health services. These barriers have long-lasting consequences, as depressed patients who are untreated are more vulnerable to suicidal thoughts and suicide. There is therefore a need for more mental health practitioners in the country in order to meet the needs of the ever-growing number of people who will need to be treated. The first step towards tackling these issues, however, is raising awareness and talking about it.